guys mentioned it, I'm going to cover it. Apparently, so the rumour goes, we're not getting the top speed out of this boat that we're saying we did. We are. And I'm going to show you how. Because a lot of the time, the reason people doubt the top speeds that we're going to get out of a boat or doubt what their mates are saying in our boat is because they haven't made the critical four changes to any boat setup that their mates may have. And I'm going to run you through it. In no particular order, these are the four things that I do to ensure I get optimal speed out of my boat. Where do I start? Well, I'll tell you. When you first get your outboard and you drop that on the transom, a lot of the time that outboard is sitting way too low. You want this cavitation plate right here level with the bottom of your boat. With a Yamaha, I generally find about 25 mils is optimum. If you've got a trim tilt on the tiller or on the control panel, up a smidgen more is perfect. Okay, you can actually raise it slightly above the, the bottom of the transom. But look, let's leave it at level with the bottom of the V. Perfect. 25 mil on Yamaha. Keep that in mind. Now, I mentioned trim tilt. Trim tilt is vital to getting the top speed out of your boat. Not the top speed always, though. Also, the bottom end bogging speed. And what I call bogging speed is when you're trying to get that boat out the bog onto the plane. Trim it all the way in to start off with and that's going to pop you on the plane a lot quicker than if you've got it trimmed the whole way out. Second of all, once you're on that plane, start trimming her out and watch your GPS, right? And well, you'll, you'll notice straight away when that boat has reached the optimal speed with trim. Now, once you get used to it, you won't even use your GPS because you're going to feel your boat, you're going to know your boat, and you're going to know exactly what it's doing um, and where it's sitting in the water and how you like to drive it. Trim tilt will also, if, vastly improve the ride quality of your boat as well. Thirdly, weight distribution. If you get your weight distribution wrong, you're in all sorts of trouble. You black all your stuff up the front of the boat, you're going to be riding bow heavy, you're going to broach and you're not going anywhere fast. Whack it all down the back, you're going to sit transom heavy, you're probably not going to jump on the plane. Have it distributed well and you're going to have a whole heap of good time. Now, where do you go to do these three things? And there is a fourth coming up, so don't worry. Straight down the river. The first thing we do at On Point when we get a boat, we take the boat straight down that river with the three changes made that I've just mentioned. Now, we don't know whether they're going to be perfect yet because we haven't put it in the water. Away we go. We're on the plane. We're off. We will have myself, Cameron and Scott on this boat in particular, the Polly, shuffling gear around while it's driving to work out how that hull is going to perform it's how it's going to act and how we're going to reach our optimum speed. Now, this takes time, guys, and I understand, but it, look, a little bit of proactiveness this early in the, in the ownership of a boat makes all the difference in the long run, and it's usually the lazy bones that get it wrong. So once we've shifted all the weight around and the boat's feeling really good in the water, we're playing with our trim tilt. We already know that the, boat, the, the outboard's going to be jacked because you can already read that. And from there, you're going to be so close to perfection, it's not funny. The fourth thing, the prop. You need to know what's happening. Hit hard corners at some sort of speed. Does the prop cavitate? When you're at full throttle with optimum trim, is that, is that um, prop cavitating? Are you getting the revs that the dealer said you should get at wide open throttle or what? As you'll read it somewhere, W-O-T. And take all that information back to your dealer. Now, I'm not a prop expert by any stretch of the imagination. I take the boat straight back to Boat City. I say, look, this is what the outboard's doing. And, and one of the sales team or one of the mechanics goes, well, this is what you need to try with a prop. And it could be as simple as just going from the standard prop to a stainless prop, uh, a three blade to a four blade with some outboards, changing the size, changing the pitch. There's a whole heap of stuff to it. It could even be aeration vents in the prop that you need to add. As I said, leave that part to the experts. But with these four simple tips, quick tips, so easy, you can get so much more out of your boat and make, make your ride and your ownership so much more enjoyable with your brand new pride and joy. Now, I hope you can take something from this video. If it does help, let me know. If it doesn't help and you still think that some things are wrong, let me know. Because we don't know what we don't know until you tell us what you, we don't know and we're always looking to better ourselves. Guys, happy fishing, happy boating, and we'll see you on the next episode. I'll catch you later.